Is this thing ready or what? Or what? I don't think it's legal. Is that legal? I think we're on either it's sport. Just can't get away from their snipers. Oh, that's too good. I mean, I like it. I mean, look at it. Rolling. All right, where have we been? That's a good question. Um, why haven't I posted? Just been busy. Um, trying to get things figured out on my end. There's a lot of stuff I filmed and I just didn't get uploaded and um, put up there out to you all. Or kind of like when I went to sick week and I do have a video I want to post for the car show when we went to California. And uh, so that might be getting dropped here soon. Um, but I just want to say there's some things um, on the channel that I want to change and trying to make it better for you all and better for us and just more of like a vlogging thing to where it's easier to make content and show y'all what we're going through and try to on a weekly basis here in the shop. So we'll see how it goes and hopefully y'all like it. But we got everything up here is done now. So I mean we're getting close to firing it. Like really close. Um the only thing we got left to do up front is you're the going return to all about the about the wheel. Oh, yeah. Well, Big Zach came over yesterday, and we figured out a bunch of inputs and outputs. And on this fly or crank trigger, this is a – was it a fly magnet one? Yeah, it's four magnets. It's four magnets. Well, this sensor that we ended up getting, because we because it needed to be a three-wire, and this here is for a point, correct? It reads points. As far as I know. Well – they make one that's points as a 36 tooth one, but since I already got the sensor, I need, I'm gonna call Holly and see if I can just get the crank trigger, the the wheel part. If not, they do make another sensor apparently, but I'm gonna figure that out. If not, I'll probably, or we'll rather probably have the 36 tooth one. Whatever's, whatever's more. Accurate, efficient. yeah, I think or the 36. Well, I'm gonna call them tomorrow and see what it is. Yeah, you can and, spend 30 minutes on the phone waiting. Yeah, because I got to order my dash tomorrow anyways. Then, then I answer. Yeah, so. But everything else besides my return fuel line is done. Yeah, we're that, waiting on that, on that to come in. Yeah. I got them fittings today, too. Oh, did you? The mates oh, over okay. there. Yeah, Leonard got some fittings. Yeah. Okay. And, and Leonard's uh, got some holes coming, so we can get that yeah. finalized. And we got the the flex, I mean, the, the magnet for the wheel, whatever, which way we're going to go there. I got to run one ground to the heads. Uh, Simple. And wiring wise, yeah. I'm, I'm down honest. to. Uh, I'm actually down to line lock. Uh, this is all for my trans brake and um, the sensor on the rear end, my dump valve. And our, uh, I talked to Zach a few minutes ago. I called him back again on our um, scramble buttons mm -hmm. on on them. Because I am going to run two actually, scrambles. All that, I mean, it, it, this is so simple. It's you ground one side and you run it to the input. And when it sees ground, it tells the box. That, you know, this, this plug here goes directly to the uh, our uh, G meter. Okay. That's what these, well, no, take that back. Yeah, these two go to the G meter. These two go to the plus or minus on our grounds out, out front. I got you. Yeah, that's what just those four wires right there are doing. And these here are all uh, inputs. These here, which there's inputs coming out of this too. Well, actually, these are all out. These are out inputs and outputs. One side's one, one side's another. But, yeah, we used all of them already. Yeah, we used them up quick. Yeah. 
And, uh, but got lights, we got brakes, we got. Yeah, for a minute there the other day, oh, well, we ain't been filming because we just been, it's been kind of hard to get over here and work on it. But um, we were trying to turn the motor over. And come to find out, we end up having a bad battery. It's got battery, a dead cell. Yeah, got in a dead it. cell in it. And uh, cause I was we, chasing stuff. And, yeah. And because we just didn't think that it could have been bad. Yeah, I grabbed the power probe, threw it on the battery, and it said seventeen point one. I hit the button uh, out front, and it dropped down to thirteen two. So yeah. I mean, it had nowhere near enough voltage. Uh, we got ignition boxes all wired. Uh, we got our parachutes on now. Um, yeah. Uh, shift was hooked up. Uh, this is, I'm finished wiring this uh, for the launch. Yeah, the parachute launcher because I'm gonna have that on my steering wheel. Yeah, and uh, uh, we got both double shoots on there. We got a new shoot or I forget. I think it's my new shoot I put on there. That's my old one. Yeah, they're launchers. Oh, you yeah. put these on cool. Yeah. Oh, Doss did that yesterday. I did it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, and we got P tank. I got holes coming from this. I moved the cell. It was in the middle of the car. Moved yeah, it up. that was the other thing we had. Because we're running a cable-driven pump on it, and with the way everything let out, we ended up having to move it over and I'm moving the batteries. Another, putting another cell right here. Yeah, because if y'all remember, my cell was here in the middle. My batteries were here. But now they're back to where they used to be. They're going to be up on the corners behind the wheels. And then the weight, and then and then our drive tank is going to be here for when you do the drag and drive. We're going to put an eight gallon cell on that. Yeah, hopefully so, it's here in the next week or so. Yeah, heck, we oh. ordered that dude a month ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah, fuel line, we just got to move some lines around and tighten it up, and that, that'd be done. So. Mm -hmm. And then wait, now um, we just finally ordered some other stuff for motion for my peak tank. And yeah. Well, anyway, hopefully by the weekend, we gotta make a, we're making a new trans total so, uh, so it can Zeus in. Yeah, because we used to just rivet it in. Yeah. Every time we had a change converter or, or something, we always had to drill them out and well, it became some, a pain. We're making new one of them, doing that. I mean, we got a lot of sensors that we never had before. That's what's kind of cool. We got shock sensors now. We got a G meter now. We got a weather system now. Uh, we got EGTs now. Uh, we got, you know, a lot, a lot more stuff than we. Uh, one thing I would like to have is, I like for us to do um, a trans temperature gauge. Yeah, we can do that. I can order that. Well, I mean, it's just, it's just a sensor. It's just, it's just a sensor going to the holly. Yeah, that. And actually, I think we got a two hundred. Well, I got an extra because I ordered two well, of every you know, sensor extras for my, my car. you got a holly sensor yeah yeah i might even have that where we can well and then all we have to do is put it into the fitting yeah into there and then mm -hmm. plug and play it yeah yeah i would like to do a temperature on that that would be nice be well, nice to even do a pressure man yeah. pressure would be cool because then you can tell the converter guy so yeah hey, it's what we got going on and that's the other things so we've been keep adding in things as we keep going yeah you know, because yeah, a few more wires, yeah. yeah, another six wires, but it's overwhelming all these wires and stuff. But it's, I've, I've learned it, you know, and I'm just glad everything so far is working because I was pretty aggravated the other day when I was like, man, this is wired right, and the battery had a dead cell in it, you know, didn't even, didn't even know it, you know, something stupid. But uh, oh, we still need to get that bronze gear. Oh, for the yeah, the cam sink, the distributor part. Yeah, distributor. Gonna do that. I yeah, and you, and I, I need to get my CO two bottles filled so we can start checking shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that that would be. Yeah, I mean, you could take them and uh, and get them filled. Yeah, we'll take them over to the salon. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, be nice to go and do that tomorrow. You're off. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. You run a chassis ground. The on the scrambles. Yeah. yeah. Come out of that button and go to the input. Yeah. It shows ground. Yeah. It turns it on. Cause the, my one is the bump and scramble. Yeah, but earlier this blue 
this blue uh, wire. Yeah. I need a, that needs to go to the transbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. I got an orange wire down there, but this wire here is way heavier. So I'm going to take that back loose and run it down through there. Right. Do what? I said I might take a bar from this mount here. Uh huh. Come up and catch this. Oh, this, yeah, it is pretty bouncy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I mean, well, don't think about it, but there's a lot of weight there now. You know? I mean, we just had one shoot before. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll take a bar and do that. Come up here and catch this right there. That'd be perfect. What do you got to think? I think we kicked them out a little bit, too. Huh? We kicked them out a little bit, too. The shoots? Yeah. Yeah. So, I Done. But in the next video, it should be running, hopefully. I mean... Fingers crossed. I mean, we've been waiting on some stuff and just really money, you know, trying to come up with some money to finish this dude. Uh, yeah, it's expensive. I keep talking about building my other cars. Like, Dad, you better hit the lottery to build that dude. Hmm. But uh, we're trying, you know. Granted, it, it's crazy to say what this what this car, hope, if it makes 1800 you know, which it should, you know, it'll probably <laughs> make us go faster than what we've ever been. So... It's pretty crazy to say, but still, what this car is and the weight of it, it will still probably be behind, and we're still not going to be, it'll probably get us closer. So that's all we can do for our pocketbook. What do yeah. you think? Sounds good. <laughs> we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we can squeeze out a few wins this year. And uh, But first, got to get it done. So we're going to do some more work, and I'm going to try to get this video up. And thank you all for tuning in. I'm um, trying to get back on my game and start posting a little bit more here or there. I mean, there's a lot to do, post about Cam's car and the stuff he's doing on it. And um, so I'm going to yeah, try to. The yeah, they're building the wing for it. I'm sure most of y'all seen that it's painted now. But they, if y'all want to see that whole process, Cameron did film it all. And now I'm going to probably go through and edit all of it and uh, probably put that up for you all so y'all can see the process of that. Dylan did a great job painting that car. So. Um, I'm just going to put the video together and see what he did and see how he filmed it. But uh, once his his car should be running about the same time as mine, and, man, we should be able to start testing together. And he's going to run a bunch of stuff, bunch of stuff on 26s. So we'll see how it goes, and we're going to learn and try to go fast with it. There's a bunch of good races coming up. But that's the other thing is my job right now. I don't know how many races I'll be able to go to this year. So, like in May, let's say May, you got – you got my dad's race. You got a race. At, you got two races at 60, and then you got uh, Corey's race, and then you got Warner Woods the last weekend, and then you got, then I'm invited to Gangsters Paradise, and the next month later. So there's a lot of races and a lot of money. So kind of going to hit maybe a few bigger ones at the beginning of the year, then hit some smaller ones later. You know, but we'll see. We'll see how the year goes. Hopefully, I can get off Saturdays, and if I can get off Saturdays, we'll be able to race more. But I'm still working Saturdays. But we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for watching. Team Meatball out. Yeah.